guys and welcome back to glad dairy guys if this is your first time seeing my face this is my real face so yes this is glad dairy whereby i share my experience cooking and uh, um lifestyle as a domestic worker in our gulf country guys i want to share my experience about how Arab people <laughs> put a new domestic worker into a test yes so this happens to me this is my first experience my first experience here when i got here actually i got tested immediately i got i stepped into the family i'm working with the but i didn't notice but later on i fish out i'm on a testing <laughs> <laughs> that's the moment so the first thing is i was told not that very day the second day i they started putting me on test uh i was asked to go into someone's room to clean it up make go and make someone bed and getting there i i will the first thing i set my eyes on is different type of currency on the bed and uh it was not arranged properly it was it was just like when someone maybe a kid or when someone is just playing with money but this scattered on the bed i was then i was asked to go and make the bed so i pick all the money i arrange it make the bed so clean and i place the money under the pillowcase i didn't even go to the person who has the room that i saw some money in your room and i placed it under the pillowcase i didn't but <laughs> i did not even realize anything wrong with that because it happens when you are when you are kind of person that free in your house so i did not see anything wrong with that so i continue with my work and later on the my one uh, one spirit just told me that go and tell that person that this money is at this little place and I went to the person and explained to them, okay, okay. Another time, I was asked to wash cloth. And when I was trying to turn the cloth over and I dug my hand in the pocket of the cloth, I realized some money as well inside. And I was shocked. Then I go to the person who holds the cloth and hand the money over to the person. And <laughs> the person was so happy to the extent that the money she didn't even take a penny she asked me to take everything and i was baffled and confused on what happened actually that is the third test that i've passed without knowing that the money was like <laughs> you are successfully passed your test but i am not aware about it and another one they want to know maybe i i will be like is they they put a lot of tissue inside cloth for me to go and wash maybe i will know maybe it's tissue or it's money so same thing happened i noticed it then i have to remove it and it it hasn't come to my mind that something is off about this kind of thing that is happening i didn't because i don't even care if it's money i will return your money to you so i don't see anything wrong with that i remove it did not say anything and after watching i just told the person that you see this kind of <laughs> I said, okay I, whenever i they, i was putting on test and i told them about it <clears throat> they would just smile and say okay okay and the another what happens to the extent that uh when i was being tested three times <laughs> they felt relaxed about me being in the house and uh, one when i wake up when the, there is a day one of them was talking to me inside the kitchen that they will know how long i can stay or how long i can continue be like i am it was them i wake up that so i'm i'm under a test for the past one month without being realizing and they stopped putting me on a test after one month and i since i have the idea they did not do anything 
and when it actually gets into six months it, i was sent to a safe you know for someone to ask me to go to a safe and these people will not be saying that small not be shaking money all day there so <clears throat> So when I go there, I open it, I do what I was being told <laughs> later on. And the spirit, uh, that spirit also tells me that, girl, you are on test. And I, 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 since I realized that immediately when I was open that safe, I did everything properly and I go back to that person and do and give her the message she wanted. And later on, I figured out I was granted freedom to be alone in the house. Yes. So that is where uh, my difficulty in life become changing gradually. That I thank God because if I want to share my first month to six months year, it's so, so sad and very painful to me that huh, I <laughs> I even have the mind of going back to my country when it's my six uh, when I was passing through the toughest time in my life that I said it that when it's six months that at least I, I will be able to have money to go back to my country that I have to go back and this change unexpectedly after being tested in so many things, so many ways. And another way that they put you into test is bullying. Yeah, bullying and overwork in the aspect that it's not that they, in, in a violent way, no, it's not that I've been slapped or beaten, but when I be overworked, they were trying to figure out if I have the strength to work for two years, maybe I can, I can endure pains and agony. Yes, I, I passed through that, that, during that time, I, I lost focus. I reached to my family. I didn't reach to my mother because I know if I, if I explain things to my mother, she will like, even if we, if we don't have anything to eat at home, she will say, okay, just back to me. It's, it's rather than, this suffering where you are. So I keep things to myself, but I only explain to my only closest friend in Nigeria that he always pray with me, do a lot of things, encourage me. And also, I have a good agent. Yes, he's a good man that also encourage me, say a lot of things that really help me. Yes, he even, he even told me that if is unbearable for me if we try to work things out for me how to leave that house go to another place or come back to nigeria and process another country for me but luckily for me after passing that six months of pain agony i do cry every day yes then in this family that i am they they call me crying baby yes i cry a lot because I have nobody to talk to and I can't explain what I'm passing through to my family member in Nigeria because I know the situation of things at home. So I couldn't, nobody else, but I have God. So I only used to pray, but it's not easy. I share a lot of pains, a lot of crying that hmm. but I thank God this thing so in case you are coming over to Arab I'm so sorry I'm so emotional about this in case you are coming over hmm. expect that you be put on testing so when I also talk about bullying about being overworked even your co-workers, in case you were in a big house where they have more than one or two domestic workers, some of them, they will use the opportunity to do you in the aspect that they are work, they will give it to you to do. And 
since you can't understand their language when you just got here you you have to do it it happens to me that i'll be doing someone else's job with my that after uh, after doing that <laughs> i will be so so tired and that and then i can't lie to you people who try to reach to me and ask of coming to Arab, I do tell them never come to Arab because I'm regretting coming back then. Yes, but I thank God that things is getting better for me to the extent that I can renew my contract and I've been here for the past three years. So it's not a easy thing. These are various ways that they put us into testing when we first go to Arab. And thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.